Jane Letzenheiser with Plum, and here we are at the second annual Martha's Vineyard International Film Festival. We're right here in Vineyard Haven on Martha's Vineyard on the gorgeous rooftop of the Mansion House. Everything is abuzz. We've got filmmakers here, film viewers here. It's very exciting. So stay with us because we're going to have films from all over the world. That's right. It's the second annual Martha's Vineyard International Film Festival. Both Richard Paradise and I, my, my co-director, we choose all the films and we basically look all the major film festivals, kind of find what's working, you know, what things have won, what things have been overlooked, films that probably haven't, you know, maybe received U.S. distribution and trying to bring them to a place where we know people will appreciate them. Right. I'd like to know just how you got the idea for this film. I mean, it takes place in Vietnam. Do you have a connection to Vietnam? Yeah, I was born there. So, yeah, I know the culture and, you know, I, uh, I was able to direct um, in, in Vietnamese. So I wanted to create a, a story in that world and I, I like films that are character driven. So I, I created three characters that I, I thought were interesting to explore. So what was it about the Martha's Vineyard Film Festival that appealed to you? It's um, another part of America that I haven't seen, you know, I grew up in California, so it's, why not, you know, I, I, I heard so many great things about it, and uh, Richard was very nice to invite me, so uh, um, this is, it's a real honor. Well, it's the end of day two of the Martha's Vineyard International Film Festival. I'm here at Chase Lounge in Vineyard Haven at the Groovin after party going on behind me. And now we're going to go take a look inside. I think people who tend to go to a film festival are open-minded and are available to see and talk about things that are out of their particular norm. And that's what I really want Shades to be about. It's a community environment for people to gather and talk and throw ideas around. Are there any films in particular at the festival that you're looking forward to viewing? I'm looking forward to Deep Water. Really looking forward to Deep Water. Do you have a film in mind that you're going to go check out? No, I don't, because I think um, any of them will be good, any of them will be interesting. Martha's Vineyard is such a great place because it's such a great sort of small community and such a beautiful green place to live and everything like that but at the same time it really is culturally deep so anything that can add to the depth of it culturally I think is a good thing. So can you talk a little bit about the film that you brought to the festival? Sure, I brought a film called Arctic Tale to the festival which was a film that was produced by National Geographic and what we wanted to do was tell a story of particular animal characters in the Arctic and what's happening in the Arctic and how that affects our main characters. Well, I'm here at the festival for a couple of reasons. They asked me to introduce a one of the movies tonight, which was a Danish comedy. Yeah, and you know how good those Danes are at comedy. They are funny. I, I Hamlet was hysterical. My movie is called Mandabala, Send a Bullet. Uh, I am the producer on it, along with a guy named Joey Frank, and it was directed and produced by Jason Cohn. Uh, we are all three friends from college. It is about corruption and kidnapping in Brazil. I'm honored that you guys wanted to have my movie in your festival. A lot of these festivals have a, a somewhat frenetic scheduling pace to them, so this one, the, the the screenings don't start until the afternoon, so you have the morning to partake in all of the activities that um, the island itself has to offer, which is awesome. I'm gonna go rent a moped, and I'm just gonna go and, and get lost somewhere, but I'll make it back in time for the party this evening. It's the end of day three of the film festival. Things have been a huge success. The films are selling out, and now we're celebrating the day's events here in Oak Bluffs at the Oyster Bar. I'm amazed that this is the second year of the festival because I've gone to a lot of festivals and even after 10 years they don't get full houses. Second year you guys are getting full houses, that's amazing. That I'm going to tell all my friends in New York, all my animators, hey check out Martha's Vineyard, it's like really a rockin' festival. It's, it's
it's definitely not your typical film festival. Uh, it's a good thing, right? Which is a great thing. I mean, it all has a very sort of laid back vibe to it. Um, so, you know, fitting for film and people in that industry. Well, I mean, I think for people who have had the good fortune to visit Martha's Vineyard, there's this is a, a really um, incredible place. A community that has supported um, the arts on every level would, of course, support film. Well, here we are, day four of the film festival. We're at the closing night party on the Black Dog Wharf. This festival has been such a success. It is definitely poised to become a rising star in the film festival circuit. And this is Jane Letzenheiser for Plum.